Tell me we're getting there. So, we've lost our slides. Oh, here we go. Okay. So, in this set, we're going to have Randy Orton, the World Whoa. Heavyweight Championship, and of course, CM Punk. Yeah! So that, there was an original version of, of you and Bret Hart here way back in the day, and it became a very sought-after figure. To see it get re-released, of course the main event series now has like hyper-articulation in the leg, much more realism to it. It's become really a part of a lot of elite collectors' collections. It's got to be real cool for you to see that represented. Oh, 100%. Um, anytime, you know, I try to my best to follow in the footsteps of those who came before me and Brent is obviously somebody I always champion and talk about. Um, I actually, I'm wearing Roddy Piper socks today, not Brent yeah. socks. Yes. <laughs> uh, I, I think it's super cool for me personally to be in a two-pack with Randy. Yeah. You know, All right. Uh, me and him have both come a long way. We both came back on the same day at Survivor Series and it's just enjoyable to be back working with a professional like him. And so it's, it's, it's cool I get to action figure share a two back with him. Yeah. And by the way, if any of you guys haven't seen Punk and Randy watching over their match and talking to each other, yeah. it's such a good video. Yeah, it's like watching two bros go to therapy. It's fine. <laughs> what is it about Brett? I mean, we, we all know, anybody that's followed your career knows how much Brett's inspired you, whether it's from the gear, the matches. I watched you on the MMA hour hugging a Bret Hart buddy. What is it about Brett that, that inspires you that much? Best there ever will be. I, you know, best there is, best there was, best there ever will be. Brett's consistency, I think his look, uh, definitely his size resonated with a guy like me because WWF for the longest time was just like the land of giants. So you see a guy like uh, Brett come in and hold it down for so long uh, with quality matches. And he was a dude that I, I was like, okay, yeah, that guy, he's like almost representation, right? Like I look at him and I'm like, all right, I probably had long hair because Brett had long hair, you know what I mean? It's just like, it's just like a punk band discovering the Ramones and being like, oh man, I want to play punk rock. I watch Bret Hart and I go, damn it, I want to be a pro wrestler. That's awesome. Give it up for Bret Hart one. So are we happy with, with CM Punk's representation in the main event line? Are we excited? You want more? Well, this, last time I checked, this was the Elite Squad, no? Do we have CM Punk coming to the Elite Collection? Of course we do, of course we do. So, as I said, we want to pull from what's past, present, and future. So we look at, look at the, the relative present. Uh, at your first WWE matches back with the company at Madison Square Garden and in Los Angeles. So, we're doing <laughs> wow. your, your black gear from those, uh, those live events. Uh, and, you know, it is, you know, gear that uh, sands some of the, the detail that you usually have. So we're plussing this figure up. It's the first figure with the uh, uniquely sculpted go-to-sleep hands. Wow. With the go-to-sleep hands. Yeah. With Cody Rhodes trunks on. <laughs> That's true that spirit. Right? Those, are, those are Cody's, yeah. So Cody can sign these figures too for you guys. That's true. You go. You're welcome, Cody. Get, you, get, still getting your paydays. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Even though this is not your typical gear, there's gotta be something so special about this. I, I went to the Madison Square Garden show, and it was so cool to see, because it was the first time I was able to bring my son to a CM Punk match, and to watch him, to watch you be his favorite wrestler, and to see him have to go to the merch booth and get an autographed CM Punk poster that's on his wall. It's just such a cool thing to watch you be able to do what you do now generationally. Is there some significance, even though it's Cody's gear? Is there some significance to the fact that, yeah, that, that is your return to a WWE ring? Listen, that is the significance. You know, stuff comes together, you lean on your friends, you lean on those you can count on. And I needed a pair of gear, and he was like, here, these might be from OVW. He gave me like a couple of different options. And one of them had like a weird pattern on it, and I was like, I'm just gonna stick with like the a young boy, just straight black, you know, tights, and I, I think that's it's very it's very meaningful to me because if you know the context, you know the story. That's great. Um, 
Also, I see the, the leg tattoos on there, the, the Han and the Leia, and that's also very cool. It, I don't know. Not make it to kind of product. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait to see it again. Legal worst, <laughs> worst nightmare uh, getting uh, other licensed <laughs> famous people's faces tattooed on Not a good idea, kids. You know, I think, uh, I think one day we'll look at this potentially as a defining moment in your career, but it just happened, so not yet. There have been many defining moments, though, in the career of CM Punk. Bill, do we have CM Punk coming to the defining moment slide? Oh, absolutely, yeah, we do. We have a very defining moment in your career being represented uh, this year at Ringside Collectibles. Uh, yeah, and we're gonna go to a clip so you guys can see what this defining moment is all about. Ooh. 